Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a couple tips today that'll help you out if you are modeling inside of groups and components. Groups and components are essential to having a clean, effective model, but sometimes you can kind of stub your toe in the fact that geometry isn't visible because of groups in front of groups, um, where sometimes you have to work to kind of see what you want to edit. So what we're going to look at right now is uh, how to make it easier to edit inside of a group or component. So just to take a look at what I'm talking about, I have this group right here. If I double click this group, everything else fades out and I'm in here only modifying what's inside the group. So I can, maybe I want to make this piece longer, something like that. I can make that change. I can't come out here and interact with anything else on the outside. If I click outside of this dotted box, it closes the group. So one thing you see right away is that the rest of this model is grayed out. This is all a function of my model info. If I come up to my window and click on model info, in model info I want to look at the components tab and I have a couple sliders here. The first one I want to look at is fade rest of model. You see a little slider here. Sliding this back and forth determines how pale, how washed out the colors are on the rest of the model when I'm editing inside of a component or group. So if I slide all the way up, it looks just exactly the same. I slide all the way down, it turns kind of a whitish color. So I generally find about, you know, maybe a quarter of the way up is, is about right for me. Um, something to note here is that it is not making it see through, it's just washing out the colors. If I flip around backwards like this, it will be in the way. The, the, the material that I can't edit will be in the way of what I'm actually working on. Another option here is hide. This is a global preset right here. So if I turn this on, that says anytime I go edit a group or component, everything else disappears. I don't necessarily want that to be an all the time thing, um, but we'll look at how to toggle that on a case by case basis. The other option in here is for fade similar components. Up here I have a couple of bars across here. If I click on one of them, you notice again everything fades out. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the rest of these pieces right here, these other three bars, are actually the same component and they're not quite as faded out as the rest of the model. I can make that change by sliding this so I can separately control similar components separate from the rest of the model. Again, same option, I can say hide everything else when I'm editing it or not. So that will give you a good way to visualize. But let's talk about actually hiding the rest of that content. I'm going to go in here and again, I'm going to double click one of these bars and I'm going to come up to the view menu and go to component edit. I have two options in here. One is hide rest of model. One is hide similar components. They do exactly what you think they do. So in this case, if I click hide rest of model, the rest of the model goes away. So if I needed to uh, maybe shorten this because it was running through before, so I'm going to go ahead and push that back, I can see, okay, this moved and then all the rest of those moved too. They all got out of the way when I did that push-pull. I want to align that to the inside of that vertical piece I had, but it's gone now, so I want to come back up to View, Component Edit, and turn off Hide Rest of Model, and now I can push-pull out and snap. I'll zoom in here. Snap to the face right there. So having that as a toggle where I can flip it on and off real quickly is a very big help. So one of the things that a lot of people do, you've probably actually seen this if you've watched our videos in the past, is map that command to a hotkey. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to do just that. I'm going to open up my preferences window. Preferences is under SketchUp on Mac or Windows on Windows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to my shortcuts tab and I'm going to search for the word hide. That shows a bunch of hide commands. The one I'm looking for, of course, is view, component, edit, hide, rest of model. I'm going to go ahead and assign that to the N key on my keyboard because I know it's a free key for me right now. Uh, see, there's an N in there. There's two N's. So it's a perfectly logical key to assign to hide, rest of model. All right. All I have to do is type that in and I can close it and that key is now assigned. So if I come in here and select to uh, maybe I'm going to open my flamingo because it's red instead of pink, so I'm going to pick on it. I want to get the rest of the stuff out of the way, tab the N key. Now I'm working just with my flamingo. Now I can come in here to paint it and, oh, I want to pull the color from those, uh, those bars up there because they're the right shade of pink. I can tap N real quick. Everything comes back. Allows me to sample that. And then if I wanted to get rid of it again, I could hit N to come in and 
paint the rest of that. So there you go. Hide rest of model, hide similar components when editing using shortcut keys. So how do we do? Let us know in the comments below if you liked what you saw or if you have some other ideas for skill builder videos. While you're there, go ahead and hit subscribe or give us a like. That way we'll know that you like what we're doing and can make more videos that help you with what you want to see. Thank you.